So gentlemen, today our two favorite machines, UVI, UVI 150, UVI 500, TP version, total protection, they are on the stand. Our mission is to run the basic preparations and basics for the tip process itself. So, the most important is the preparation of the shielding gas. We have a pure argon cylinder, monitor pressure reducer regulator with a flow meter. Our mission is to adjust proper flow rate uh, for the teak torch. My mission is to point out don't trust on 100% of the flow meter. You need to use the portable one to verify the proper flow just on a torch. So in uh, majority of cases, six to nine liters, it is quite good value. So we will adjust approximately nine. From this moment, your shielding gas for the torch is ready. So basically we adjusted our shielding gas. Next point is of course, connecting of the T torch to the welding converter. By default, all of the unit or deep welding solutions, the torch is connected to the minus. You can start machine right now. You can select process. Is a deep welding. This is our amperage adjustment. The unique feature of unit or inverters running for a TIG welding is a lift arc function. So basically a welder shouldn't waste his efforts to do some scratching or most probably knocking of the torch. So we suggest to consider the quite uh, simple tactics. You just place the torch, you touch the surface, you lift your uh, uh, electrode and maintain the stable arc just in order to continue your process. Don't make any knocking, don't make any scratching. The procedure is simple. Touch, lift, weld. Gentlemen, uh, smart welders always pay essential attention uh, to the workpiece preparation. Majority of uh, uh, your TIG welding works on board, most probably related to the stainless steel. Stainless steel, aluminum, copper alloys are very much sort of capricious uh, metals. So our advice today is to consider some very simple rules. Whatever you prepare stainless steel, the only tools and accessories allowed must be non-iron. For example, it is a stainless steel brushes, stainless steel hammer, and even special, in our case, it is a mop disc, which is a non-iron, special for a cold grinding of the stainless steel. So I would like to demonstrate to you also one of the option to utilize the safe grinder, which is only 42 volts, which is connected to any kind of unit or inverters market uh, TP, TP version. In our case, we use the smallest machine. The grinder just connected to the welding outlets, doesn't matter the polarity. You select, for example, TIG. In our case, be better to use a TIG. You put a maximum voltage maximum amperage, I'm sorry, and you switch on machine, you can operate the grinder. This is what we can keep here. And this one is safe and professional way of the stainless steel preparation for hot works. Apart from non-iron tools, I need to pay your attention about grinders itself. Uh, majority of vessels, because of safety reasons, they prefer to use uh, air-driven grinders. But exactly for a stainless steel, because of expelled air may contain some oil or moisture, that grinder is not the best option. Because of you, not you, but welder, originally contaminate the surface. And finally, three, six months later, you may get the same needs for repair or rebuilding of the recently made stainless steel repairs. This is why we insist to consider electrical grinder, grinders. And in our case, because of safety, because of safety reasons, 
low voltage grinder powered from welding machine outlets would be the best option. So gentlemen, some tips about tick process, initiating and welding itself. What we have to do, open the gas, approximately one revolution. The shooting gas flow we already adjusted by portable flow meter. I strictly recommend you to utilize the auto dark mask because it allows you to keep both hands free. Professional welders prefer to use TIC torch with a special remote control. This is normally quite important to finish, let's say, to end up your welding and to prevent crater creating on the end of the welding roots. So welders utilize the remote control, fit it on a torch, just in order to reduce the welding current at the moment you have to finish your works. So for our case, Machine itself started. Machine is ready. We give 100 amps. So I have a button to activate uh, remote control and remote control on a torch. Check the screen. Check the display. Increasing, decreasing. So basically, it is just a roller to operate. Smoothly. So the torch itself, your major consumable for the torch is of course tungsten in uh, electrode. We have normally 2.4 mm, 1.6 mm, torch is supplied with 2.4 mm. 1.6 mm is normally used for the TIG welding currents up to the 100 amps. Rest is always served by 2.4 mm. Also, the TIG accessories kit includes all of the internal components, spare nozzles, for example, number seven is for a highest amperage, highest gas flow, number six, which we use presently, and three pieces, uh, 2.4 millimeters, three pieces, 1.6 millimeter, spare tungsten electrodes. Unit or welding handbook gives all of the needed descriptions for the torch setup and for the consumables use.